I would like to tell you the story of how I saved someone's life. Thanks for the coffee, but I'm just gonna... Uh, no, wait. Please stay. For my sake. We don't have to talk, we can just sit. I don't think I've introduced myself. I'm... I'm Olivia Curley. We've gone to school together since fifth grade. Coffee. It was the least I could do after. Well, you're welcome. After I tried to kill myself? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just glad you're alright. Why? Why what? Why do you care? I mean, before today, you didn't even know I existed. You know, no one did. Well, I notice you now. It took you long enough. Sorry. It's just, I'm not really a, a standout guy, you know, like, I mean, not like you. I, I mean, not like you as in you're a, you're a guy, I mean, you're a girl, you know what I mean, right? I mean, I'm not saying you are a guy. I've rambled too much, I'm sorry. Glad to know I'm amusing. You are. Come on, let's get out of here. To chest, 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 nose to nose, palm to palm. We were always just that close, wrist to wrist, toe to toe. Lips that felt just like the inside of a rose. So, how come when I reach out my finger, it feels like more than distance? I haven't had this much fun since my dad left. When was that? A couple years ago. I'm sorry. You say sorry a lot. Even when it's not your fault. Oh. Sorry. What happened? My mom cheated on him. He tried to stay and make it work, but he could only remember the betrayal. You know, it got to a point where he couldn't even look at me anymore. So we left. My mom was happy about it. She said, good riddance to that no good sheep bastard. She couldn't wait to start a new life with Duck. I never told anyone that before. Thank you. For what? For telling me. Thank you for listening. When I was six, I lost my hamster. 
and my sister told me that he'd run away to the circus, right? So I decided to join him. So I packed my bags and left, leaving my parents a very poorly spelled note. I got about to the next block before I got scared and ran home. Stop laughing! I was seriously gonna go, but I got scared and missed my mom. It's not funny. Yes, it is. I just wanted to share something too. In, uh, in the fifth grade, my first day of school, one of the guys threw a baseball into a tree and knocked a nest out of it. All the birds made it except for one of them. And I distinctly remember this one little girl running up trying to give the birds CPR and insisted that we give a proper burial for him. I can't believe you remember that. You're a memorable little kid. I'm really glad I got to talk to you today. Me too. But next time you can just text me or something. Well, I don't have your number. Do you have a pen? I can't believe that I have Olivia Corelli's phone number. Keep that. It'll be worth something someday. I hope you know I'm never washing this arm again. That's disgusting. I thought it was amazing. Then you have a very twisted idea of romance. Well, you smile. Something like God only knows what. I would like to tell you the story of how I saved someone's life. But I can't. Day. You were late this morning and hey, I didn't- Don't give me that tone of I voice. will talk to you whenever I choose to. Well, stay out of this! Do not yell at my- Get in. Christian Dennis, son of Robert Dennis and Marcy Bayfield, stepson of Douglas Paxton, Dirty blonde hair, green eyes, born April 17, 1993, in Mount Sinai Hospital at 2.27 a.m. On October 23, 2011, Christian Dennis, son of Robert Dennis and Marcy Bayfield, stepson of Douglas Paxton, climbed over the edge of the Arlington Bridge and jumped. He died instantaneously. Sometimes, when I lie awake in bed, I imagine what he looks like when they found him. Do you think whoever told that kid to be himself gave him horrible advice? I like to believe that his eyes were closed and he wore a smile, even if it was out of bitterness. 
I imagine him the epitome of peace, cradled in the paramedic's arms, as if he were sleeping. It doesn't matter though, because he's still dead. And I hate him for it sometimes, but mostly I hate myself for it. I hate myself for not stopping him, not just on the bridge, but countless times before. Stay out of this! I should have done something, anything, but I didn't. I just watched. And now, I will spend the rest of my life paying for it. You see, when Christian jumped off that bridge, his life was not the only thing he took. He took a little piece of me with him. He took a little bit of all of us.